company will want to get information from the marketplace on an ongoing basis. And so there's no, there's no minimal uh, amount of information needed. There's more a question of what issues are critical to driving the business at any particular moment. Um, and those issues will change over time. So the best you can do is focus on the ones that are important now, uh, get information to help you address those issues, and then move on to the next set as they, as they appear or as they um, result from the work you've done and the, and the uh, market information that you've collected. The challenge is to do it in a way that is efficient, is quick, is uh, not too taxing in resources, but at the same time is structured, is useful, is quantifiable, and rings out the biases that typically uh, are part of any management team. And that's the hard part um, uh, from a number of standpoints. One is um, people don't like to or are not used to getting objective information and learning from it. They're used to um, uh, influencing information and interpreting information in their own way and uh, bringing their biases to bear and bringing their experiences to bear even if it's five-year-old experience or ten-year-old experience. And the hard part is to leave that aside or let's say augment that with uh, information that is um, current, um, objective, um, unbiased from the target market in a way that is uh, uh, analytical and uh, clear and um, useful to the decisions at hand. So the best um, companies, in my experience, um, pr uh, use this process on an ongoing basis, and it and it is used up and down the, the structure of the company. So it comes from the, the top; it's driven by the needs of management and the priorities of management. But over time, it's understood by the uh, middle levels and the lower levels to be part of the way that business is done in that organization. So um, as issues arise, even at the level below the senior management, there's an instinct to an, an orientation toward the marketplace that comes to bear and is used and is, um, and is uh, part of the operation of the, of the firm. Even, even yes, it's, it's not a department at all. It's really best instituted throughout the company. And so forcing, you know, like it or not, uh, developers and finance people and uh, quality control people and others in the organization to talk to and hear from the marketplace has huge benefits, um, not just for them in understanding what decisions are made, but for them in understanding how their customers might react to the things that they do, the uh, processes they put in place, the programs they undertake, um, and why they would react that way. And, and, and it is not um, the kind of information that is typically understood in various departments in a company. It has to be brought to them or it has to be collected by them. Right, so, so market validation, you know, properly done is a process. It is a organized, structured, managed approach to collecting information that is different than a lot of folks think. They, they think that it's uh, sort of, yes, uh, we, you know, we talk to customers, we talk to people in the marketplace. You know, Joe did on Thursday, and then uh, uh, Mary came back on Friday, and she talked to a customer, and it's sort of a random set of anecdotes that they collectively uh, call of market input. And surely it is, but it's not the kind we're talking about here. Market validation is a process which includes um, understanding what decisions you want to make, um, to, uh, putting together a hypothesis about the product and the market that you're going to validate, that you're actually going to test um, understanding where that information is that will best test that uh, hypothesis, uh, what's the methodology that we'll use to collect that information, extract it from the users, um, how to collect it, uh, uh, record it, analyze it, and, and then communicate it uh, for the management team and for others to 
make the decisions that need to be made. So it's a very organized, um, uh, systematic, um, and repeated, uh, repeatable approach um, that is very much different than sort of saying, oh, yes, we talk to the marketplace uh, in an informal way.